Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's coverage here. We are on the ground in Las Vegas for Adria's reInvent 2023. I'm John Furrier, your host. Dave Vellante is in the analyst session. We have multiple sets. We're in the press area getting all the action and it's an amazing event. Our 11th year covering reInvent has been quite the journey. This year more than ever, so much changes in the air. Generative AI is legit next level. You're seeing new silicon. You're seeing a nice middleware around models developing. And really, again, just overall, just the next level price performance of the cloud and of course, a developer feeding frenzy on this next gen open AI, ChatGPT, Anthropic, Titan, these foundation models or LLMs is causing quite the buzz. We expect that to change the infrastructure and we have a great guest here, Kivan Pranina, who's the general manager now of, at Broadcom, VMware, part of Broadcom. Is it yes. VMware, Broadcom? It is, uh, yeah, so the VMware brand is also stays, stays for the software. Great Part to see that, you. Yes. Uh, we just had an interview at VMware Explorer. Um, you kind of knew at that point, we didn't, but Tanzu, big part of the, the VMware cloud on AWS and VCF, um, big deal. So let's get into the quick news. So what's the quick reorg update, your role, your focus, how's it structured? Perfect. So now that it is all public, we don't have to <laughs> uh, you know, walk on eggshells on what it is. So Hawk had done an announcement, essentially there are VMware has been organized into four uh, business units, or divisions, if you may, mm -hmm. uh, that are reporting into Hawk. And one of the divisions that has been formulated is the Tanzu division. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll be leading the, I'm, I am leading the, the Tanzu GM. division. Yeah, GM for the so GMC is responsible for all the performance, so go to market, Marketing, exactly. everything else. Exactly, so this is a, a, a true GM role, in the sense, <laughs> all the PNL, the, the monkeys on your back. <laughs> yeah, a lot right? of pressure. <laughs> yeah, We're so here for you if you need to, you know, if you get lonely at the top, we can always talk on the queue. <laughs> um, Absolutely, so it means it is, as you said, yeah. uh, sales, oh, the, all the go-to-market, the marketing, and yeah. of course, the product development all, the, both the top line and the bottom line. So you got a lot of, you're running hard, getting out of the gate, what's your plan, what's the strategy? So we're here at reInvent, big part of of your number will come from the, this ecosystem, a lot of cost shared costs with, yes. with AWS. What's your plan coming out of the gate for your division? Yeah, so I think what we have done is really through this process of um, getting to the space, right? This, this conversation has been happening with Broadcom <laughs> and Hawk for 18, year, 18 months. And so now that we are here, this is not as if we are starting from zero. Mm -hmm. So what is Tanzu? We, over the last six months we have truly synthesized it down to, the singular goal of Tanzu is to help customers build their applications fast mm -hmm. and deliver it to whatever cloud of their choice. Now a lot of times, customers are choosing AWS and if it is AWS that they choose, we want mm -hmm. to make sure that the entire development experience and the speed with which they can build applications is truly world class. Right, can, it can you take eight months down to eight weeks, eight days? That is the goal in terms of building an app. We've had previous videos are on YouTube if you want to interested in see them. We've talked about all the management, all the challenges. It kind of, you had a great story at VMware. I remember that interview, it was very memorable. Um, Tanzu is also a good name, it can put stuff under. Is there now a, a naming convention? I think is there a, the main platform, is it, is it application product, uh, uh, the Tanzu service, what's the, what are the products? What's the platform? Because <laughs> it's the Tanzu, exactly. is it the Tanzu application platform? Uh, explain. Yes, yes. So, again, you know, with Tanzu, we actually put out <laughs> a bunch of what I call T stars. <laughs> so many different Tanzu names out to the world. So, I'll simplify for you. Okay. You have to only remember three things. Core of everything we do in Tanzu is the Tanzu application platform, which is, which is a Kubernetes based application platform that allows you to curate a beautiful developer experience, accelerate the build path with golden paths to production, and deploy it to any Kubernetes, any cloud. Of course, we also have, as part of the app platform, Tanzu Application Service, which is our Cloud Foundry based platform that allows you to, again, rapidly build applications. So that is one piece, and both those pieces are truly anchored also by Spring. A large, proportion of our customers build on Java, they use Spring and Spring Boot, and our goal is if you're doing Spring Boot, you just accelerate the development, whether it is standard app or AI apps. Now once you have the platform, no application lives in an island as we talked about it, right? Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, we have two other services that go with that core platform, Tanzu Data, and what Tanzu Data is is a set of 
services around data, caching, databases, warehousing, right? Mm -hmm. That support an application. So this is our Greenplum, our Gemfire, our RabbitMQ, our SQL Postgres capabilities. Mm -hmm. And so that is Tanzu data. Seamlessly integrates into the platform, so when you're building an application, mm -hmm. you can easily add that. And then, Tanzu intelligence. And this is where it's important to connect back to the conversation we previously yeah. had. So last year we had, no, we had introduced this notion of a hub. Mm -hmm. A hub that is all knowing, that knows your state of the multi-cloud universe. Now that is rebranded to Tanzu Hub, part of this, this entire platform. Whether you tap platform, data service, or intelligent service, yeah. you get that. And what Tanzu intelligence does is, for all the applications that you build, how do I m give you the ability to manage cost, performance, and security of the application? all the way from when you're defining the application to when it is operating and running in your environment. And the difference between the application platform and the services, there's just Cloud Foundry as a service, and the platform's everything else. Exactly. Okay, so and the data Tanzu and the intelligence is like the pieces around add it. Add-on yeah, to got it. So basically, yeah. Tanzu application service is your Cloud Foundry-based application environment. Tanzu application platform is your Kubernetes-based application environment, and data and intelligence surround everything. Got it, so that wraps yeah. everything around. You get yeah. the core around that, that's the yeah. key. Okay, so yes. it's TAP and TAS, As. and data and intelligence. So Lovely. It's, it's simply the same conversation we had, but just a little bit tightened up on the names with Tanzu as yes. the Tanzu. leading brand. So exactly. Tanzu is all things developer, all things action, intelligence, and data for developers. Yes, and, and the key thing that I guess the difference is, one of the things we said is, when people th build applications, they often have to source information from different places, yep. right? They may go to a data doc to understand the performance of an app. They may, they are looking at various repositories to understand their vulnerability status of the code. Yep. They are looking at different pipeline systems. So that aggregation is what we are, so we are tying this entire portfolio with Tanzu Hub. That single source of information that says, your application right from inception to when it is actually getting yeah. deployed, we will know the state of the near real time state of the application and, yeah. and its dependencies. <laughs> yeah. And this is where we have done some very interesting things. Because we were on at this for some time, and we have the true understanding of the data of the application and the dependencies, we were able to launch in Explore the Tanzu Intelligent Assist, which is our uh, generative AI based assistant, very similar to the launches you're seeing mm -hmm. here today, yeah. where you can have a conversation yeah. with this assistant about your application. Yeah. What is my application that needs support? What, where am I f running into problems? How do I optimize my cost? And you're just having a conversation yeah. with the system, and the system tells you what to do. <laughs> we got generative AI happening right there. One of the things I'm excited about, and why I liked uh, the conversation, and we were hitting on it a little bit at uh, Explore, yeah. was, because I can sense it, I could feel the, the, the vibe and the coolness of Tanzu and the app, modern application. I mean, who doesn't like the modern application group? I mean, like, <laughs> I mean we're modern, I mean, yeah. we're not old, right? So, yeah. but VMware has a customer base you know, vSphere, vSAN, I mean, very loyal. I'm not, I won't say it's old, but it's been around for a while, but yes. so now this is a fresh, um, I won't even say bolt-on, because that's the wrong word, but like an addition yes. to existing. So you got the core business, everyone has that install base. What's going to be the, um, the hook? Because I can see a lot of people excited about yeah. VMware being cool with the modern approach with actual product. Yeah, so yeah. the question is, how are you going to get them to cross over I know Hock Tan wants to simplify things, yeah. you get everything, use it, and pay for it. Pay for it and consume, right? Consume. So one, I guess maybe it's a well-kept secret is, actually Tanzu is a, a pretty extensively used solution set. So it's not a new product set, we've brought it all together now and made it easy for consumption, but some of the largest enterprises, yeah. largest trading systems, healthcare systems, uh, medical systems, yeah run on the Tanzu application service platform. And I'm talking about thousands of application instances running mission critical applications on Tanzu. Now what we are doing, and so there is a loyal Tanzu base and there is a loyal yeah. VMware foundation base, yeah. base, right, of virtualization. And so how do we kind of make this one plus one equal to 10? So one thing we have to say, with Tanzu we want to be very uh, focused, and Hawk is all about focus. Our focus is around accelerating your development of apps, whatever we need to do. 
and, and, and getting you to use the whatever technologies you need to use in order to accelerate that development, be it from AWS, yeah. Azure, <laughs> or uh, VMware. And so that is what we will do very well. But we are also integrating very tightly into VMware Cloud Foundation where applicable, so that if a customer wants to deploy and their applications on top of VCF, then Tanzu becomes a beautiful platform yeah. for them to build their apps. So like Everything just happens naturally. So, so it's, it's, the, it's the, uh, the onboarding or turning on, yes. it's like turning on a light switch. Turn on a light switch, exactly. So you already have VCF, you already have the runtime. you turn on a light switch, your application so platform is So you have a very easy there. job. All you got to do is get people excited about the new features. We have to get it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I'm only kidding. We have no, to you get gotta, them. We got to make the numbers. I mean, we you got a GM, you got a scoreboard, you got to put the numbers up. We have got a scoreboard, up. and the key thing that I want to keep keep emphasizing, especially here. Yeah. There was a lot of confusion from the AWS perspective on whether we had our own runtime, is the runtime competing with AWS? So I want to put that to rest. Yeah. So Tanzu is not about Kubernetes runtime. There is nothing about runtime in Tanzu. The core Kubernetes runtime, which is called Tanzu Kubernetes TKG, is now part of vSphere and vSphere VCF. And you have got EKS on AWS. So for us, from an mm -hmm. AWS perspective, we actually will help drive more workloads to EKS. We will help drive more workloads to BCF with uh, Kubernetes runtime. So we say, hey, wherever there's a Kubernetes dial tone, we can show up and provide this fabulous application platform that allows you yeah. to build your application. All the complexity that you have to do from writing code to getting it deployed to a Kubernetes with clusters and namespaces yeah. and pipelines, yeah we take care of that. Yeah, so we had Narayan on Monday. Yes. He was on with um, Fred Worden from AWS. Yes. Um, they were talking about that. Now he's in the cloud side? He's so VMware Cloud Foundation okay. is core foundation that is available in an on-prem form factor as software, mm -hmm. but it is also available on the public clouds. Well, so the he, AWS, he, VMware Cloud on AWS is what Narayan runs, and that is what and he's in, presenting. And he's in what division is he in? In the same VMware Cloud Foundation division. So he's in? Um, Chris. Chris. Yes. Okay, Chris is, yes, that's right. Okay, so he's the cloud and vSphere, yes. all the core, and you get the Tanzu modern apps, that's yes. where the connections are. Yes. And is that the simplicity? And you get the other networking and edge, okay, but, but in terms of the, the data center and cloud, it's... That is very simple, yeah. When you make your data center run truly like yeah. a public cloud with a clean interface, easy scale, great resiliency, and then with Tanzu, you accelerate the development of application. Yeah, so your cloud by itself is useless, right? You need yeah. workloads on the cloud, yeah. and that is what Tanzu accelerates. Yeah, and what's interesting, Adam Slesky, who I met with for an hour before the event um, on the 17th, and I wrote the story on breaking that breaking news there. He actually reiterated to me in person and on stage: it's not just the chips; it's what's around it. Similar to with VMware, it's not just the workloads; it's what's around it end to end. Exactly. And, and I think the interesting thing is that there's going to be also a developer uptake with generative AI because yes. we saw uh, with SuperCloud the work we were doing there with the with this idea of this this, this yeah. new environment. Developers can run workloads on multiple clouds, they don't need to be experts on everything. So VMware community, um, whether it's VMUG, that persona, they're gravitating towards this super cloud environment because it's not just VMware now for them, it's cloud. It is cloud and, and so, VMware is available actually for them in all form factors. And right? the developers in their companies yes. can use VMware and Tanzu yes. to build apps and then have the goodness of cloud whenever they want. Exactly, and so today for example, we have, again, uh, many large enterprises already using Tanzu to build their apps. And what this accelerates is, as they build their apps, they can choose whatever destination they want yeah. based on their business needs. It's a late binding decision that they make. So your main core job, if I get this right, is to get developers excited yes. about Tanzu and the business impact of the intelligence and the data that they're generating yeah. for them. Exactly. Because the data the the feeds the, the gen, a, gen AI. Exactly, the developers have to feel, hey, I'm building this app. I'm going to do Gen AI. What is a platform that I can quickly go to that puts everything together for me? Now, where the users of the platform are going to be the platform engineering teams. Yeah. So in all these enterprises, there are platform engineering teams that are responsible for taking a developer's code and putting it to production. So now developers can say, hey, platform engineering team, use Tanzu. 
then instead of taking eight weeks yeah. to deploy my code, you can do it in eight minutes or in eight days, yeah. right? That is the power. And, and the platform engineering is going supernova, people love it, and then now data engineering is becoming a discipline, you're starting to hear that exactly. at this event. Yes. So platform engineering and data engineering, they'll merge together they will. as one ML thing. ops, uh, cleaning of data, the pipelines, the various yeah. work that you do around inferencing as well as fine tuning of models, all those are pipeline type activities and perfectly curated on a Tanzu platform. Well, Pernille, we got a lot to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, exciting, congratulations. Thank you. And thank you for coming on theCUBE here at our reInvent coverage. Appreciate it, and uh, looking forward to continuing the conversation as part of the Tanzu division of VMware by Broadcom. I don't know what the official tagline is, it's VMware Broadcom or VMware by Broadcom. I think we'll have to get back to you on by, that. Powered by Broadcom. It's, it's I think Tanzu division <laughs> of Broadcom right now, but we, we'll have, how we, does VMware fit in? We'll we just to. had some good Broadcom love at Supercomputing, they, they had a home run there with their, uh, yeah, I think 400 gig ethernet, they got a ton of activity. Yes. And again, the world's just going to get better with the chips. I mean, yes. you're going to have a nice, yes. nice division, I think, if, if this continues as the performance of the yes. infrastructure exactly. gets faster, it's exactly. going to be goodness for you. Yeah, the more services and more clouds, the better it is for us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks for coming on theCUBE. Okay, more CUBE coverage coming your way right after this short break. Back to the studio in Palo Alto, where we have our live stream. We'll be back here with more coverage after this break.